Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel Data Driven Decisions. In this channel, I talk about more about the data science and uh, different technologies related to data science. So if you're down for that, you can just check out my channel. There are a lot of good videos you'll find over there. So today I'll talk about uh, the like comparison between the Julia programming language and the Python programming language. And I've already created a lot of uh, videos about that. If you are interested in this topic, you can check out this video. And I, also you can go to my playlist and you'll find the whole playlist of the whole section over there. Uh, like learn Julia, Julia versus Python basically. So not uh, wasting any time further, let's get started with the video of today. So in this video, I am going to compare between the uh, print formatting and string between uh, Python programming language and the Julia programming language basically. So in the Python programming language, I have already written the codes over there. Uh, so you can see that like to format a string basically in Python, you have you have two different methods basically. So one is the dot format method, which is the uh, like uh, the, which is the older one basically, and the newer one is the fstring method. Maybe you have come from other uh, programming languages. There, this method is very popular and it has been adopted to Python uh, already. So you can see that how can how can we use the dot format method basically? So you can see that dot format method uh, the structure is something like this. So in the print uh, function Python, what you have to do, you have to just mention uh, like uh, like in parenthesis what you want to uh, include in that parenthesis, and after closing that, you have to just use dot format, and then you have to mention uh, the the strings or letters or anything like sentences or float number, anything you can uh, mention it over there under the dot format parenthesis, and it will be applicable over there. So so I just uh, give you some example over there so you can see. So if I just run this particular cell. So this is the uh, data driven decision. That is what it has been written. So you can see that. So first is this. So this has been applied here. Then is over there it is is. Then the data driven decisions. The data driven decisions has been carried out over there. So. If you want to just change the like positioning of uh, the presentation basically so how can you do that so you can see in the print you can also mention the index of those particular words so the index of the this is zero then this is the one and this is two right so if you just want to change the indexing positions what we can do is that in the parenthesis uh, in the third bracket basically you can what you can do is that you can give like suppose i want to want something like this like 0 1 so i want the one first is first so in that case i'll keep one then zero then two right if i just run this you can see that like is this data driven decisions so is come first and then this so, uh, like indexing of this is zero then two that is the data driven decisions so is this data driven decision that has been come we can also format it something like this like you can also specify uh, those particular words with a particular uh, variable name so you can see that a equal to this okay b equal to is and c equal to the data driven decisions so what i can do is that i can just give those particular uh, variables in the parenthesis in the third bracket and if i just run it you can see like uh, so data driven decisions has been come okay something uh, suppose i want um, i want the data driven decision first and then the other things uh, so what i'll just copy this one i think first and then i'll just paste it here and what i'll do is that i'll just i'll just give c first over here so i'll just give c first and then i'll give um, is i think b is fine and then i'll give a right so if I just run this one, so you can see that like data driven decisions come first, then is this. So data driven decisions is this. So something like that. So these sort of things have come over here. <clears throat> okay. So now uh, what I will do is that we will just use the dot format method just to uh, print some uh, like some numbers basically. So. You can see like so i have just created a particular variable called result so result is something 100 by triple seven so that is basically will give you some float numbers so we'll quickly just run this cell okay 
so if you just uh, see the result output so that is, that is it so that is 0 0.12870128 so something like this and after that uh, if you want to just include that in the print uh, section of a of a code basically so over here i have written this is result the result is then we have given the third bracket and under that we have given r right and then we have given dot format then r equal to result basically so just quickly just i i just run it so you can see that so the result is 0 0.12870128700128 so that is what we have given and then we will do the same thing using the f string formatting basically so in the f string formatting what you have to do you have to just uh, in the in the parenthesis of print you have to just give f then um, like double inverted comma then you have to just write the result is in the third bracket you have to give the result so you just over here you just write result directly but in the like format you don't uh, sometimes it's not happening so you can't do that so you have just give right over there and if you just run this one you'll get the uh, particular output the result is this right so that is uh, using the like uh, if string formatting and also the dot format method in python so how can you do the same thing using the julia notebook basically so in the julia you can see that in julia if you want to just do the like dot format kind of stuff in julia you have to use specifically a particular um, like package the package name is uh, formatting.jl so you have to use the particular uh, package and then you can use that particular package to run it using the python way of doing a dot format method so for that what you have to do is that you have to just write this code like using pkg so you are using the pkg package and then using pkg package you just adding that particular formatting.jl package to the notebook basically so if i run this so so the package has been installed over there so resolving package versions so the, all the package has been installed in this particular notebook or julia environment and then i'll what i'll do is that i'll just create the particular this one like the result is this using the uh, julia dot format method basically in that case what i'll do i'll just come over here so you can see the result is 100 by 777 right you can see already so after that if you want to use the any package in julia what you have to do is that you have to just using formatting so the package name is formatting so you have given the using over here in julia what we used to do is that we have to give the import formatting or any kind of package which we used to use in python like pandas numpy in that case what you have to do like import pandas and pd like numpy as np something like this over here you have to use using using formatting and then what you will do is we have to use the print fmt for using that particular package instead of only print you have to use print fmt and then you have to write something like this just see the formatting is almost same but over here you have to use uh, like colon f right and then result because this particular result is a float number and for float number you have to mention uh, like particular data type in julia so <clears throat> you can see like uh, colon f whenever it's a float number you have to use colon f whenever that is a particular character you have to use colon c if that is a integer number in that case you have to use colon d and if it's a string then you have to use colon s so first i'll see uh, i'll show you the float number and then after that i'll show a string number then uh, it's up to you just see that i just run this particular cell right the result is this so the output is the same over here right but the uh, decimal places are a little lower in julia i guess okay now so this is the one thing and another thing is that if i just run the data driven decisions this is data driven decisions in julia as a print formatting in that case what if we do is that we have to just i have just written over there like print fmt then this is i have written after that in the third bracket i have just given uh, like uh, colon s because it's a string uh, string variable the, i have uh, saved the variable data driven decisions in the name variable so it's a string type 
right so in that case we have used s then we have given the name so if we just run this particular cell we can see that this is data driven decisions so that is what we have given over there and after that uh, suppose uh, suppose we want to do the same thing for some integer numbers so for that we what we do we just create another cell and then just i just copy this particular format as well so if i just copy this and paste it over here suppose uh, just giving the name of the variable is number we have given this number then i just uh, any number we should give say like 1000 okay so and then what we will do is that we just write it something like this the number is number is sorry the number the number is then inside that what we'll do we'll just give the uh, i think d because it's a like integer numbers then what we'll do we'll just give the variable name number right so if i just run this the number is thousand so that has been written suppose you, you just uh, give f because it's not f but i just give the f just to check if it's happening or not <clears throat> so if we just run this okay it's running but it will give you the float decimal points okay okay so let's reverse this process so over here it's a float number but we will try to do it using the decimal so just give decimal over there and if we just run it it is not happening because that it's a originally it's a float number it's it cannot be converted into uh, integer numbers so that's why it's not able to do that but over here it's a thousand is a integer number but if you it can convert it to float using dot triple zero or any zero so in that way it has been given the output basically so it's a good lesson i guess right and after that uh suppose you want the this sort of formatting like a string kind of formatting in julia in that case uh, what you can do you can just do it something like this like in julia uh, in print uh, function in print function you can write me something like this anything like suppose uh, i have given the variable names over there a equal to this b equal to this and name is a data driven decisions so i just recreate the particular sentence this is data driven decisions using this particular formatting so in that case, what you have to do, you have to just give like dollar a, right? Then dollar b and dollar name. So you have to write it like this under the like uh, second inverted comma. So you have to write it like this. And if you just run this particular cell, you can just uh, do anything like this. This is data driven decisions. So that has been given over there. The output is has been given over there and uh, <clears throat> you can also alter that particular thing what, which i have shown it over there over there i have shown you like this is data driven decisions and after that i have just changed the indexing of that and you have got like is this data driven decisions so if you want to do the same thing in julia what how can you do that uh, you can do it something like this like uh, you can see like like b equal to is right a equal to this and name equal to data driven decisions so in the print function, what I've given is that like dollar B because I want is first, then dollar A, then we want this first and dollar name. So if we just run this one, so is this data driven decisions? So we can do it something like this. Like we can use uh, instead of like any formatting package or anything. We have to install it something like this but you can just do it something like this like you can just need to use the dollar sign in uh, in your print function then it will just give you the output according to the variables you have assigned over there so the same thing i will do because uh, you can see that like result is already been defined over there so result is 100 by triple seven i don't have to uh, again do it now what i'll do is that i'll just write it like this this is dollar result that's it so if we just run this you'll get this output right it's a much more convenient i guess it's much more easier to do 
so i hope you like the video if you like it please subscribe to my channel please share with the, your buddies your friends who believe who you believe it could help you or help them out that's it i'll see you soon very soon with more videos about the python julia data science and different technology kind of stuff thank you for watching my video thanks